Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss what is the alternative for connect file and how to use repository API in Python. Let's get started into the topic. As I have discussed in one of my previous videos, there are many changes in integration levels in Pega latest version. So one of it is connect file is no more available, but Pega will be supporting for the existing rules over there. So what is the alternative for this connect uh, file? So Pega has come up with uh, these uh, five different data pages. These are nothing but APIs. One is d underscore px new folder. The, this is a new folder API where we can uh, select uh, a folder to be created. And this is new file where you can create a file. And this is get file to read the content of file. So here the content can be read in encrypted format if you give the return type as a string or it's uh, if you want to read it as a stream you can give a stream this is a list files this is a read only data page where uh, it will list all the files in the respective directory and this is px delete so this is uh, for both the file type and folder so we have some option like recursive delete over there so if you select that it will delete all the folder that we have mentioned in the path so for our uh, video implementation as I want to create a local repository, I have chosen uh, this uh, particular PFBC Tomcat and here I have created a folder called as repository. And uh, let's see how we can implement and how we can create a repository in Pega. So let's create a repository over here. Once you have logged into Dell Studio under records, under records, uh, under sysadmin, uh, we can see here repository. These are the default uh, repository that is given by Pega. Now I'm going to click create and I'm giving as local repository. Local repository. Mm, and to create this uh, local repository, you should be having this privilege data hyphen repository. You make sure that you have the privilege, otherwise, you will be facing an error. As I said uh, earlier, I have created my local repository folder in this path. Now I'm copying this. Once I click create and open, you can see you can select a repository type, click select. You can select whether it's an S3 or Azure or JFrog or file system. Now I have given file system. And you can see here resource path. I'm giving the path and click save. And you can have two options here test connectivity. Yes, it is success and valid repository. So new folder, new file, list files, get file, these are the APIs that I have told you. These uh, are available over here, like uh, access is there for that. Now I am going to this folder. Repository uh, in your local zone. As repository has been said, let's uh, test uh, one of the API calls. So I have this uh, repository folder and here I have two XMLs. One is onboard.xml and other is reservation.xml. So, so we want to delete one of the XML using our API. Just go here and you can see d underscore px delete. You can have a file test but you just opt for px delete. Once you open this and uh, in parameters you can see it is a uh, like we would, it would be asking repository name file path file path is nothing but the file name over here as we are already defining the repository name over here and if you have some other file path uh, like uh, subfolders in that you can give the same here and this recursive delete it's a boolean value means it's a checkbox so if you give this it will delete the entire directory over here for now i will be deleting a file actions run this is repository, now I am giving local repository and this is file path uh, which is nothing but file name I have to copy this this is file path 
reservation.xml is the file name now I'm giving uh, file name click run see py deleted is true and you can see here py source page uh, pz rate how many uh, sources it has generated it has generated one and uh, these are the parameters that have we have passed and you can see only one file is there the other file has been deleted in this way you can uh, use these apis there are other apis as well just go through that thank you thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share like comment my videos